Hey there everybody, I am incredibly excited to bring you this video right now because this video could actually change the world, let, let alone your life. This video could actually change the world. This, this is my vision for what I'm about to show you, what I'm going to talk to you about in this video. Um, you know, if, if you're the sort of person who just wants to be completely mediocre, work in a job you don't really like, and you know, watch rubbish TV in the evening and do stuff like that, and then this video isn't for you. You're, you're, you've come to the wrong video, go and watch some, um, I don't know, fail compilation or something like that. That's why you came to YouTube. Uh, other than that, you are here to, those of you that are still here, you're here because you want to live your best life possible. You want to live an amazing life and you're sick and tired of the disappointments. You know, you, you're, you're, you're sick and tired of, 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 of just not, not making it of not living your life of your dreams. You want to live the life of your dreams, but you haven't been doing it. I know you haven't. Not, not to its fullest potential. And I'm gonna help you change that in this video. So what you wanna do is you wanna close everything off. You wanna you know, shut off the phone. You want to lock the door. You wanna get a notepad and pen. And you wanna pay very close attention to everything I am about to say in this video to you right now. This is the number one personal development tool in the world. In Maybe I should have checked the pens before I wrote that up there. Can you read that? Great. This is the number one personal development tool in the world that I'm about to uh, show you right now. Um, and what inspired me? What inspired me to create this? What inspired me to come up with this? Because you know, nothing in the, in the universe is new. Not, nothing is. It all comes from somewhere. But what inspired me to create this? What I'm doing is integrating various systems. Um, is... Japanese monks. It was Japanese monks that inspired me and gave me the, the inspiration, the understanding of, of how powerful this personal development tool is and how it will absolutely radically change your life no matter what. There'll be no more disappointments, no, no, there's going to be no more, oh, that, this worked, this didn't work, this works. 100% of the time for 100% of the people, guaranteed. But let me tell you what inspired me. I was inspired by Japanese monks, and there's these, there's these monks in Japan, in the mountains just north of Kyoto. And they're the most badass monks you've ever come across. These monks, they will do a thousand day challenge. And on that thousand day challenge, they will actually walk up to 82 kilometers, 83 kilometers every single day through the mountains. On their very last year of this challenge, they have to walk 83 kilometers every single day for a period of a hundred days straight through mountains these monks so they, they do this 1,000 days of walking right um, it's at least a marathon, marathon every day and it increases as they go on very very hard and if they fail to do it they're not allowed to come back this is how serious it is if they fail to do it they have to actually take their own life and just head off into the next dimension. That's what these monks do. This is how committed they are to this 1,000 day challenge that they do. So suffice to say, not many monks do this anymore. You know, it's, it's just the, 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 the modern times, you know, monks these days don't really want to have to kill themselves. You know, we're, we're just in different times, right? Uh, so 46 monks have completed this since 1850, I think, have actually completed it. What a lot of them, what the, a lot of the others do is a hundred day challenge, and they they'll they'll walk for a hundred days, a thousand day challenge. I'm like that is bad ass. That inspires me, you know. Uh, when I read about these monks, and I, I watched I watched a documentary on it years and years ago, and uh, then I read about it again more recently. And just by reading about it, I'm like I'm gonna do a thousand day challenge. And when I actually made the decision in my head that I was gonna do a thousand day challenge, and how I was gonna do it, suddenly. I realized that it was already done. Because you know what? You know, I, I do, I've done lots of challenges in the past. I've done 30 day challenges, 100 day challenges, did things like that. I've never done a thousand day challenge. But a thousand day challenge. What you can create in your life in a thousand days 
is absolutely incredible. So this is 1000 day challenge. One thousand day challenge. This is the most powerful personal development tool in the world. So there's a way to do it, right? There's a way to do it. So let me tell you another story. I believe it was Andrew Carnegie, billionaire guy. Whether he's a good guy or a bad guy, it doesn't matter. Just listen to the story. He had at the time a business consultant come to him to consult him. Andrew Carnegie wasn't particularly interested in this consultant who came to him. So he said, look, you don't have to pay me anything. I'm going to, I'm going to give you something, um, a strategy. And six months from now, as long as you do it, I'm going to come back and uh, you can pay me whatever you think it's worth. So Andrew Carnegie said, okay, sure. So the guy sat down and he says, okay, for the next six months, every single day, you're going to write down your six highest priority action steps. The things that are going to move your business more than anything else. You're gonna do, do that every single day and you're gonna complete the six steps. If for whatever reason something crazy happened, you know, one of your factories blows up or something, you know, you don't get the six steps done, maybe you only get three done, then the next day you, t you take the three that you didn't get done and they're the things you do first. And you just do that straight for six months. Every single day, consistent, committed. Andrew Carnegie said, okay, sure, why not? I'll do it. So six months later, the consultant comes back to Andrew Carnegie and sits down in his office and Andrew Carnegie shakes his hand, he says, he says, look, he says, because of what you told me and, and me applying it, he says, I'm actually able to, to make these many more millions, which I know I wouldn't have made because I wouldn't have made those decisions. Um, and uh, it's because of doing those six things. And he paid the guy $100,000 there and then for the, the advice. So you can just pay me anytime you want, by the way. Okay, so what he did was very, very simple. Very, very simple, but very, very powerful. And uh, that, that, that teaching has passed through time. By the way, back then, over 100 years ago, $100,000 is actually millions from that one cons consultation. That's what that guy made. This is how powerful this information is, if you apply it. So, so this is what you're gonna do. Every single day, you're gonna write down six things. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna write it down. Writing down is very, very important. It's the first stage of the manifestation process of getting out of your head. You know, uh, just writing it down. Writing it down freehand, really important, you know. Uh, so it starts firing off different neurons in your brain and starts to get your, get your brain to going to work to actually create it. So you're gonna have your six things there every single day. You know what I've got? I've got this. Big, when I started my thousand day challenge, I got, I got this big old book here, you know, and every single day I write my six things and my other tasks in there as well, and, uh, and I do it. And just by making that decision, it wasn't a hundred day challenge, it was a thousand day challenge, just by looking at it, I'm like, okay, that's it. These things I want to achieve, that they're already achieved. Because if you do the, your highest priority things, most people, here, here's the reason why most people fail. Most people fail is because they're, they're living a low priority life. Every single day, they're doing the low priority things in their life, which gives them a low, uh, a low quality life, you know? The thing is, if you don't actually set up your highest priority action steps and consciously write them down and hold yourself accountable, if you don't do that, they won't get done. They just won't, because the brain doesn't work that way. The brain's always looking for the easy way out. It just is, you know? So you have to hold yourself accountable. You have to step, step up. You can't settle for that mediocre existence which 90% uh, of the population is settling for. And because you're watching this video, you're not settling for that, you know? So this is, I am throwing down the gauntlet. Are you gonna pick it up? This is the Thursday day challenge. This will change your life. This will change the world when you do this. So to find out what your six highest <coughs> priority action steps are, is you need to realize what your vision is. You know, what is your vision? Find out what's your vision for the future. What do you really want to create in your life? And then work back from there. Work back from there to, to daily action steps. What can I do every single day that will actually move me 
more into this vision that's going to manifest all around me, right? So without getting into it, I've, I've put mine in the, I'm going to put mine in the description below, exactly what I'm doing, but just to give you, give you an insight, give you an insight into it. For me, my, my ultimate vision in, in life is I, I want to be an international best-selling author. I, I want to write books that inspire, that inspire people, inspire billions of people. I would love that, you know. Um, I want to write screenplays that get made into movies, that get made into feature-length movies. Again, I, I love being inspired. Growing up, I read books, they inspired me. I watched movies, they inspired me. They made my life better. So that's what I like to do. I, I like to then do that as well, because that's what it was, was for me. I like, I like reading a book that at the end of that book, like, like my, my whole thinking's changed. I'm a different person. Or I like watching a movie where I get a tingle up my spine, and after that movie, I'm like, I'm inspired. So that's what I want to do. And I've been to uh, see people speak where I just walked out of there just uh, like electrified. So those are some, like the three main things I want to do is I want to write uh, ins inspirational books, I, including screenplays as well. Um, and I want to make movies for my screenplay to be made into the movies. And the third thing is I want to speak to audiences, just like I'm speaking to you right now. And I want to inspire people. So that's my, that's my vision of the things I want to create in my life. Obviously, there's a whole lot of other things I want to do and various things, you know, related to other areas of life. But that's sort of like the, the achievement side of things, you know, that's what we're talking about now. Um, and, so, and so with that said, then I go back and go, okay, what do I need to do every single day in order to do that? Well, I, need, I need to write. Every single day I need to write at least 400 words every day. If I'm going to be uh, in any way a great writer, you know, if you're going to be, want to be great at anything, you've got to do it every day to be great at it, right? So I need to write every single day and be consistent with it, right? Um, I need to make a video every day. You need to make a video every day because that's why I'm, I'm talking, I'm communicating, I'm, I'm actually speaking to people, you know? And that, that can just grow and expand and expand and expand. Yep. Uh, third thing is to, uh, is to listen to audio, watch videos every day of actually either lectures or, or um, you know, things on personal development or things I can learn from health and various fields. So I'm always bringing in new knowledge. So I'm always taking in things that I can then put out, you know, it's, it's personal growth. If I stood up there and I'm speaking to people, I'm writing books and there's nothing in there, I haven't learned anything, what's going to come up? There's, there's nothing there, you know. So for me, it's so important to every day is to read something, every day to listen to audio, every day to watch a video. So read is, reading is my fourth thing. If I need to read every single day. That is so important. J Jim Rohn, you know, one of the maybe greatest sort of personal development, motivational sort of guys in the world, you know, that was one of his very, very top tips. He says, read for 30 minutes every single day. And that sets people apart. You know, people that are sitting there watching the big, as they call it, the idiot box, the TV screen all the time. Uh, and then there's people that have, uh, that are reading books. And the, the, the gap just, just, make, just becomes so large after a little while from doing that, you know. And the people watching the TV, they wonder how those other people they know have, have created all this success and have become so wise. And it's because they're reading. You know, it's because they're reading. So that is so important to me. The first thing is to write. The second thing is to make videos. Third thing is, is, to, is to listen to audios and watch videos. Fourth thing is to read. Uh, fifth thing is to, um, is, is to train. Is to train. Martial arts is my passion. Is to train my body. You know, for, for me to, uh, to be able to do a lot of things in the world, that, that, that's, that's like the primary thing to me. The root is to train myself, train my body, as a martial artist to become better at that. You know, one of my dreams is to become a master, like a real master of martial arts, you know. And uh, you know, that, that can happen as long as I train every single day. And by doing that, I'll, that will also spill out into all the other things I'm doing as well. So I'm telling you these things to give you maybe an insight into what you can do. Into, if you're thinking, well, what, what, what's my mission? What, what would I do every day? By me basically talking about what I'm doing, that will actually start the cogs turning in your head of what you can do, right? And so then the sixth thing, uh, strangely enough, is to study Spanish. You know, and I, I talked about it in, a, in another video, but for me, uh, languages was just like a massive barrier when it came to languages. English, I've pretty much got a handle. Other languages, barrier. And I've lived in a lot of different countries in the world for a long time, and I've never learned another language past the basic conversation. So, happened because of a, I, I was uh, like 
verbally and physically abused in, in a, a, a kindergarten, a Spanish kindergarten as a child, and I got a massive mental block. But as soon as I decided, I'm going to start, and I've lived here in Spain now for three years, by the way, and I'm still conversation, basic conversation level in Spanish. But as soon as I decided to do the thousand day channels, and as soon as I wrote down number six, study Spanish, something happened. Something just went bing in my, in my brain, and like the resistance just fell away. The obstacle fell away, and suddenly I saw that. Oh my God, I'm going to be fluent in Spanish. Because if I study Spanish every single day for a thousand days consistently, I'm just going to be fluent. And that's it. This is the power. I want to get across to you the power of this thousand day challenge. It is incredibly powerful. Don't take it lightly. Um, do it. Make a decision. Don't just say, oh, I'll think about doing it and, uh, you know, I might not do it and whatever. Or I'll, I'll give it a go for 21 days. No, just, just say, just commit to doing it for a thousand days. Amazing things happened. As soon as I committed to doing it for a thousand days and I wrote down my list, it suddenly just like, it opened up like the, you know, the, the, the great sea opened up and suddenly I saw the clear path all the way through and like, all I need to do is do these six things every single day and everything will just fall into place in my life like, like you wouldn't believe. And that, 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 is, that, is the, that is the secret. The secret is, is doing your highest priority action steps every single day. No one else is doing this. No one, no one else apart from the people that you see that are just doing amazing things in the world and you think, how, is, how do they get to where they are? How do they do it? They're doing this sort of stuff, you know. Bob Proctor, the guy, dude with the white hair for the secret, you know, great guy. He does this every single day. He, he does his six things. He just writes things down. He does them. You know, when I, when I, met, when I met Bob, he talked about time management. And he, said, he says, people ask me about time management. He said, he said, you can't manage time. He says, time just is. He says, what you can manage is the things you do with that time. You, you, you take your highest priority things and you do it in, the, in that time. That's how you manage time. You don't really manage time. That's how, you, that's how you live an amazing life, by doing your highest priority things every single day, bar and you know, Why would you take off a Sunday? You know, why would you do that? You're just losing momentum. You have a thousand days, do your highest priority things, because God wants you to live that life. God wants you to be doing your highest priority things. God doesn't want you sitting on your ass watching TV with a big load of crap in your stomach on a Sunday. He doesn't. He wants you to live an inspired life. And you will live an inspired life when you do this thousand day challenge. I am, I am goading you to do it. I am throwing down the gauntlet. Pick it up. Pick it up and do this thousand day challenge because I know for a fact that when you do it, you'll be so grateful. You'll be so thankful. You'll be so appreciative that you did it. You'll be so grateful to yourself. You'll look back a thousand days from now. A thousand days from now, you'll look back and you'll say, oh my God, I am so glad I did that. It has changed my life in ways that I could never have imagined. And this, this is the most, all the other personal development stuff out there, all the other self-help books, all this, all that, all that fluffy stuff out there, none of it is worth a damn without the thousand day challenge, doing your six high priority action steps every single day, without fail, holding yourself accountable. You fall off the wagon, you get right back up and you dust yourself off and you just carry on going. And that's how you do it. And that's how you live the most amazing life. And I'm telling you, I'm on what, day 13, day 14, just finished day 14 today. I'm doing it. When you see a thousand days from now, you will see, and I want you, I want you with me on the journey. I want you with me on the journey. I want you to bring your life to, to levels that you could never have believed before. That's what I want for you. I don't want to hear your story. I want to create this ripple around the world. I have a vision. I can see millions of people doing thousand day challenges all around the world and changing the world we live in through doing it. Mediocrity never changed anything. You've got to get unreasonable with yourself. It's the un it is the unreasonable person that makes change in the world because the unreasonable person adapts, does not adapt themselves to the world. Everybody else, the mediocre people, they all adapt themselves to the world around them. They all just fit in, what slot can I, they all look for a slot to fit in. Where, what slot can I fit into? The unreasonable man persists on adapting the world to himself. And when you do the thousand day challenge, you become so unreasonable that you actually bend the universe and you adapt the world to yourself. You bend the laws of the universe 
and you start to create compounded growth after 100 days, 200 days, 300 days, 500 days, the growth becomes exponential. So do the 1000 day challenge. I am throwing down the gauntlet. You have to pick it up. Do it. Do it. I really want this for you. I, I, I gain nothing from it. I, I gain nothing from it other than the fact that I know it will change your life more than anything else I have ever said in any video on YouTube. This will change your life more than anything for the better. More than anything. Mark my words. You know, just do it. It's as simple as that. This, this is more powerful than anything you'll find in any personal development, any self-help book out there. Any other video that's telling you how to sort things out, this will do it for you. You don't have to have the same list as mine. You have your own unique vision. Have that vision, work back, find out your six highest priority action steps every day and do them. And start it and get find other people to do it with so you're holding each other accountable. Give this video to friends, send it to friends and say, okay, I'm gonna do this Thursday day challenge. Do you wanna do it with me? Yeah? That's how you do it. That's how you change your life more than anything is you do the Thursday day challenge. Thank you very much for watching and I wanna hear about your success. See you soon.